This is a rear differential off of a 1995 Toyota Land Cruiser FZJ80. These are known as the 9.5 inch diff. This one is a 410, which is a stock gearing. Most of the Land Cruiser came with 410. And this is the uh, open differential, no e-lock, nothing like that. I just got done pulling out the axles. Axles are right here. And then uh, removed the diff. And just did a quick inspection. My rain gear, everything looks good. The reason why I'm taking it off is because I have a Grizzly locker coming in the mail in the next couple days. And we're going to have a Grizzly locker install. If you guys know what that is, um, it's an automatic locker and it basically replaced the whole carrier. So basically this all right here will be trash. And then the, I'm keeping it stock gearing, so I'm going to I'll reuse the ring and pinion. But I'll be doing a new Grizzly locker new bearings and new seals up there so um, i won't be doing the install i'm gonna take it to somebody else that knows much more about gearings and have them do it so everything looks nice and clean the, this is the first time this differential has been removed out of my land cruiser the original gasket was the toyota one and uh they use a super good gasket. Toyota makes a super good gasket. The paper gasket that was used on this, it was still in great shape. There's no leaks. I had to use my razor blade and also my carbide scraper to scrape all that off. Took like took like 30 minutes just to scrape that, yeah. But uh, I won't be using the paper gasket anymore. Uh, once I had this installed, I'm gonna use the black RTV. Uh, makes it easier to work on and just you know in the future it's more easy to clean off and it works it works good too so this is a third third member it's crazy because the the ring pinion it's much more thinner skinnier compared to like the uh, ring pinion off of Toyota pickups and forerunners because i've taken the forerunners and pickup differential out and their ring pinion is actually, is actually way more thicker but those are the eight inch not the nine and a half so interesting um this thing is massive though all these spider gears are super massive everything is just bigger in general when you're comparing it to a regular v6 pickup and forerunner so looks good though everything's fine the uh the backlash i don't have a measuring thing but it feels good nothing crazy listen to that the Yukon Grizzly Locker and the Bearing Overhaul Kit was ordered through Marlin Crawler. We also ordered a Pinion Solid Spacer. The whole order took roughly about 3 weeks because the product was on back order. Once everything arrived, everything was nice and packaged ready available for install. For this project, I decided to not re-gear for one reason because that was out of my budget. To re-gear to 4A8 gearings, I would have to buy gears for the front and the rear and also buy new bearings for the front. And with that included, I would have ran another maybe $2,000. One of the first issues that arise was that the 50 mil bearing kit was made originally for the stock Toyota carrier. For the Grizzly Locker, it was a 45 mil. In this situation, I just let it my technician who was going to do this install for me. And he was able to find some 45 mil bearings locally. So keep that in mind when you're doing this installation. Although the 50 mil carrot bearing did not work the pinion bearing that came in this kit was usable for the grizzly setup i emailed marlin crawler to address this and they told me that the correct bearing kit was the one made by ninja so they sold two kits on their website the yukon one and the ninja set so make sure if you're doing this go with the ninja one and the ninja one was like maybe 50 dollars cheaper compared to the yukon which was about 300 dollars to install the locker you have a few options you can take your whole vehicle to your desired shop and have them do everything for you or in my case i went ahead and removed the differential myself and sent that in to john he then went ahead and did the installation of the locker and then i went and picked that up 
up and install the rest myself. I didn't film any of the removal because it's super simple on the Land Cruiser. You just pull out the axle, drain the gear oil, unbolt the dry line, unbolt the diff, and then everything just pop right out. Much more easier compared to pickup and forerunner. Shout out to John M. Palmer, very knowledgeable Toyota expert in the field of Toyota parts and stuff like this. He went ahead and sandblasted, put some new paint, washed all the parts nice and clean, and then did the installation of the Grizzly Logger. As far as reinstallation, I was able to install it myself. Super simple, install it, put some RTV, install your axles, and then install your dry line. I didn't went ahead and install new seals or wheel bearings because I did that already last month. So installation was super clean and easy. If you haven't done any of your wheel bearings, this is a good time to regrease or add new wheel bearings while you're there. And also just go ahead and service your U-joints because everything's right there on the rear end. Installation was pretty dang easy. And then we also went ahead and added some new gear oil, 80 weight, 90. Land Cruiser FZJ80. This is the open differential uh, rear diff has been replaced with a Grizzly locker. This is the automatic locker from Grizzly. That's the part number right there. I just got it back from John. John uh, did all the installation for me. Great job. He went ahead and sandblasted the housing and then also painted it. And then uh, fresh new bearings, pinion bearings, carrier bearings, and the Grizzly's in there nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and just clean the surface a little bit because uh, it got a little bit of grease from the uh, grease here. So clean that up and then we're going to go ahead and slap this in. The rear axles are clean already. Uh, last night I went ahead and wire brushed the caps right here and then put some black spray paint. I'll go ahead and spray some brake cleaner. And then we'll get everything back in and install. This is the Grizzly Locker. Super amazing. Can't wait to uh, test it out. If you guys don't know, on the Land Cruiser FZJ80, uh, it comes with the full flow axle. So it's much more easier to work on. You just uh, unbolt the axle, pull the axle out, unbolt the draw line, and then unbolt the differential and just pop that out. It's not like the old school pickup forerunner where you have to remove the brake line, the backing plate, pop that out. It's, that's so much complicated versus the full flow axle. So these are these are way much more better. I didn't notice at first, but I also just found out that the axles are different lengths. I didn't know that, but on the Land Cruiser, the passenger side, it's much more shorter versus the driver's side. Because I put a zip tie here to make sure I don't mix them up. And then I found out that, oh, they're different lengths. So the driver's side is the long one. So there's no way of mixing that up. And this is the 30 spline axle. This is all stock factory right here. Keep you guys posted once I have this installed and let you guys know how it feels and give you guys my first impression. This will be my first time uh, driving with the Grizzly Locker. I had the Spartan Lunchbot Lockers on my Toyota pickup before and those were pretty good too. And then I also have driven with the welded diff and those pretty good too for trail runs. But this will be the automatic locker and this is one of the best automatic locker out there. So whenever you're driving straight, the locker engages and then as soon as you make any turn, um, the locker click, 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 click and becomes disengaged. So it's street friendly and also good for trails. We also did kept the stock gearing, so we're still on 410 gearings. I didn't went ahead and re-gear because it was just too much, uh, too expensive at the time. So we just kept on the uh, stock factory 410 gears. Because if you re-gear, you have to do it to your rear and your front. You can't just do it one end. Um, it wouldn't work that way. If you were to re-gear, you have to do your front, ax your front rear, and your, front, uh, your uh, rear rear. So we'll go ahead and re-gear maybe in the future.